what's up guys and welcome back to my channel we're just gonna hop right into it because i haven't seen you guys in three weeks my last video was in three weeks it was three weeks ago but good morning guys how are you i am tired i just got up it is 6 56 here i have tutoring at 7 30 and i thought i would just update you guys really quick so here's what i've been up to studying 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 I mean, like, EDAP has rolled out at Chamberlain, and I know that I said I would do so many more videos before I did this video. I'm still going to drop my study with me video, letting you guys know how I study and what I'm using to study. I'm, I'm going to do it, but let's just talk about EDAP. Can we talk about EDAP? Can we please talk about EDAP? We can? Okay. So, EDAP has been rolled out at Chamberlain. I don't know how many other campuses are using this. I don't know if it's just my campus, but I was told it's not just my campus and we're all kind of using it and we're all kind of adjusting. And I've seen a few people on Instagram that are adjusting as well and that are using it. But, um, unpopular opinion. I don't have a problem with it. My only problem with it is it has grammatical errors, er errors, er error, errors. Of course, it does have that, and sometimes it tells you you got the question wrong and you got the question right. So those are my two problems with it. Is it tedious? Absolutely. But I barely really have a problem with the tedious aspect of it because it's really only tedious because they break each little part that you're learning down into its own module. So like if they were to combine pain and pain management and put them in one module, they would be, say the module has six sections. It'll go to like 15, 20 sections. You never know. So I think that's why it's tedious, how they have chosen to separate it. Other than that, I'm someone who has always struggled to read my book. Like reading my book was not something I wanted to do. But EDAP has forced me to read my book because it is your book. And then you want to go in the book and you want to get the answers right and you want to follow along. And honestly, yeah, it started out rocky. I, I, the grades were just not there. But as the weeks go on, as we progress, I'm doing much better and I'm super proud of myself. And I have kept up. I haven't had to turn anything late. So you can do it you can 100% do it it is possible um you just have to really manage your time i'm talking about like i have some some crazy time management it's not perfect it's not all there but i have some crazy time management because of edap because i don't like to see the word late late bothers me so i don't like to turn anything in late i like to turn everything in as on time as possible because when i see the word late my mental wow but so like there's been four edaps in farm every week and the edap modules can have anywhere from 10 to 21 units within the module it says that they all take you 20 minutes but they take you however long it takes you and i work i'm a mom i'm a wife so like don't think i'm coming to you from a place of she don't know what i'm going through if you work full time i don't know what you're going through i don't work full time i can't tell you guys how to balance it i can't tell anyone how to balance it this is just works what works for me i study when i'm at work because i work night shift so my patient is sleeping i have index cards that i study i will tell you guys what i am studying in the study with me video i promise i'm back i'm trying to be as consistent as possible I promise, I promise, I promise. I have so much I want to share with you guys. But EDAP is possible. I think I like it because it is preparing me for the new NCLEX. It does make me think in ways I have not thought. And I do think it is overall beneficial. Um, I have a pharmacology exam today. And I'm super nervous about it. But at the same time, I'm like, whatever. It's the first exam. Sometimes you don't do as well as you do on other exams on the first exam because it's the first exam You've never seen these type of questions and now you're gonna see them And so you kind of have an idea of what they're gonna ask you about and things like that. So I'm just gonna do my best. I have been studying EDAP. I definitely studied a lot with EDAP It was actually really helpful and really beneficial um, I'm studying with quite a few other things because like 
I don't have time to sit down and make in index cards, but I bought index cards. And if you guys haven't seen the videos on the two sets of index cards I bought, I will link them both up here and you can go watch them and check out those index cards. But next week, I will be dropping the study with me. I will drop the fundamentals study with me first, and then I will drop the hmm, pharmacology study with me the following week. I actually may drop pharmacology first because pharmacology is hard. But EDAP is totally doable, guys. It actually helps you study if you kind of change your mind and you study while you're doing it. So open your book, mark stuff, highlight stuff, notate what's important, and kind of take notes while you're doing it. Yes, it takes longer. But you're studying too. So you kill two birds with one stone and you stop saying, I don't have time to study. I'm just trying to finish it. No, you're, you're studying while doing it. Make it work for you because it's not going nowhere. It doesn't matter what petition you sign. It's not going anywhere. It's Chamberlain. I haven't seen them change many of the things that they've introduced when they introduce it. It's not going anywhere. So make the best of it. And it's actually not bad. And remember that when y'all be chumping off these faculty and being rude to them, they didn't roll this out. They didn't necessarily say, yeah, this is what we want to do. It didn't necessarily come from them, but you have to respect them for trying to help you understand it and trying to help us grow from it because, like, it could have just came down on them, too. Like, you never know the situation, so try not to be so cruel about it because you're frustrated. Another thing, it's an accelerated program. That's why we have so many modules due in a week. Y'all forget that Chamberlain is an accelerated program. It's meant for you to get your BS in faster. I know, I know some people are not going to like my opinion. I know that. I mean, I'm just telling you all what, what it, it's an accelerated program. And you signed up for it. And I don't know no other way, other way else to say it. If you graduate in 2023, you got to get ready. For this new NCLEX. It's coming. And it's coming fast. So we got to be prepared. You didn't spend all this money at Chamberlain. For them not to prepare you. And you didn't spend all this money at Chamberlain. To fail your NCLEX. So they doing what they have to do. To keep their numbers up. And by introducing us to the style of question. We should get better and better over time. We, My class we graduate May of 2023. My last class is in March of 2023. That is my capstone. I don't plan on failing anything and moving any of my graduation dates. I plan on keeping everything the same. I'm doing my best. If I can, I'm trying to get to the January 2023 graduation. But I even think they have to take. They may not have to take next year. I don't know. But I'm just saying. We we got to make the best of it because it's not going to change. Um... Yeah, it's it's just not going to change, guys. Chamberlain's probably not going to change it because they feel like they're preparing us. And I respect them for doing something. Because imagine if you're at a nursing school that's not even preparing you for the next-gen NCLEX. Like, ain't changed nothing about their curriculum. And we only have a year and some change left in school. So we need to get into the flow of these things. I know my opinion is unpopular, but I don't have a problem with it. But I will tell y'all, it's tedious. So, like, you need to get with it or get with it your assignments will be late and you know you lose the 10 percent. and they took away quizzes so like edap is your quiz so imagine if you do good on it it could potentially help your grade to be higher and higher you know i'm always transparent with you guys i have like a 90 in farm and i have like a 88 in fundamentals the second fundamentals edap you know i was still getting better i was still improving on the questions and learning how to use it so yes all of my edap grades aren't like stupar they're not stupendous they're not like the best they could be but i'm getting there and i'm okay with it um i'm okay with it and we all just gotta get there i i miss vlogging you guys i just i'm t i'm managing my time and i i think i found it to where i can fit everything in but I'm just managing my time wisely. And if YouTube has to wait so that I can finish my classwork, y'all know YouTube has to wait. But EDAP has rolled out at Chamberlain. We got to make it do what it do. I will see you guys consistently from now on. I have gotten emails from you, some of you guys, inboxes from some of you guys, and I appreciate it. I love all the love. And if you have inboxed me or emailed me, you know that I don't have a problem responding. I respond as long as I see it. If I don't see it, I apologize. But I respond as long as I see it. I don't have a problem with it.
So keep emailing me, guys. I'm not sure where you guys are getting my email from because I don't know where I have it posted. Not that I'm on. I just really don't know where I have it posted. But keep emailing me. Keep subscribing. We are growing, you guys. We are just growing. And it's crazy because we've been growing and I haven't even posted a video. But EDAP is at Chamberlain and we are going to make the best of it because we need it. They're going to fix the grammatical errors, the wrong answer errors, and then we're going to be in there. We're going to be in there like swimwear, okay? See you guys in my next video.